Welcome to Pac West Best in Class, highlighting student athletes that are leaving their mark on athletics and academics across the conference. Annika Kuznick from the women's volleyball team at Capilano joins us for this Best in Class. How are you doing? Good, thanks. How are you? Good. This is exciting to talk to you. So take me through Mm -hmm. a little bit of your academic life here. You're in biology at Cap, right? Yeah. Yeah. So in high school, I kind of, I liked school, obviously, and I was pretty good at it, but I didn't really know what I wanted to do. So Cap was kind of a good opportunity for me to just, I knew I liked science. I just didn't know where yet or what I wanted to do with it. So the biology program at Cap has really given me a lot of opportunities to take my time, play volleyball and decide what I want to do with it. So, so yeah. are, are you happy then with biology or, or any yeah. thoughts if you could do it again saying, <laughs> oh, maybe I'll do something else? No, I'm actually really enjoying it. And I thought I would have, I would change my mind, but I'm actually, I'm loving it. And I'm in my fourth year now and I've just transferred into the bachelor program. Cause when I first came at CAP, they didn't have a bachelor program. They only had an associate degree in biology. So now I'm up in the bachelor of science program with a focus in environmental science. It sounds like there's a lot of schoolwork. <laughs> quite a bit a lot yeah a lot of the courses that you don't think you have to take but you do <laughs> yeah so okay so yeah. being a student athlete I mean that's yeah. a huge commitment in itself being part of the yeah, volleyball completely. team to travel and all the stuff then you go to nationals and that kind of thing so how do you yeah. juggle how do you how do you do it how do you work right. on schoolwork and play volleyball at a high level well it helps to like what you're studying that yes. definitely has a huge factor in it I think also just staying focused and reminding yourself in time that you don't want to do that assignment because you rather just watch volleyball or watch the game that you just played or it helps to remind yourself that there are people before you that are able to do it so you can do it too. And I think that for me has been a big step and things that I don't really want to do. I just have to remind myself, you know what, I'm capable. I'm smart. I can do this too. And that's been the biggest game changer for me. Yeah. But that's tough to do when there's, is somebody pushing you? Is there motivation? Is there a teammate? Is there a family member that says, come on, Annika, you got to get this project. Or is <laughs> um, it just you? I think a lot of it is I'm pretty self-determined and I do want to do well. And I have like for science, you can't really, you can't really slack off. There's not a lot of time to, um, <laughs> but I think the program at CAP, really, there are a lot of staff there that they remind you that it's student first before athlete. Mm-hmm. And so there's a lot of like places like programs in place, like where like students, if you are struggling one semester, there are, there are study halls that you can go to. It's a pretty good environment that like, if you don't do well, like you have to go to, you can't go to lift or you can't go to practice. Like there are things that are in place. So it like keeps you in check. And I think having those kind of guidelines in place really helps keep everybody focused. How do you keep it all together, though, knowing that there's a project coming up and there's a lift and there's a, a match and there's practices or something that you use? Is it your phone? Is it calendars? It's a lot of planning, I, okay. I would say. Like if I know I have a, a weekend where I'm, I'm away on Friday and Saturday because I have to play, it's a lot of that Monday you have to look. You're like, okay, hey, I have this week, mm-hmm. this Thursday. I'm not doing anything. Okay, I have to get it done this Thursday before Friday and Saturday or if I know Friday and Saturday, okay, Sunday. Sunday is usually a pretty good day. <laughs> Laundry yeah. and studying. That's my day. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. it's, it is now that going into your fourth year, do you feel oh, like you have a routine? You know what you're doing, what to expect, or is there still some curveballs that got thrown at you? For sure. I think there are times where things get busier and there, there are slow times where you don't have something due right away. And I think it's important now that I've realized in those slow times when I don't have something immediately due, it's start working ahead on the stuff that will be due. Whereas I feel like if I didn't play volleyball, I wouldn't have to do that as much. Yeah. yeah. Is it a little bit so more definitely gratifying? looking ahead. Is it, a little, is it a little bit more gratifying, do you think? And, and nothing to take away or not to take anything away from a student that isn't a student athlete. But when you get a project done or you have this big assignment and you get it done, you're still able to play, you're still able to make your commitments with volleyball. Do you feel it, it it might be a little bit more gratifying than, than a student that doesn't play a varsity sport? I would say a little bit more gratifying. I would also say it just feels like it's very satisfying to watch like things on your checklist get done. Like you just yeah. played a great match and then you also just handed in an assignment. And I think there's, it kind of goes hand in hand that you feel like, okay, I do have it together. <laughs> 
any moment when you're on the floor in any match of your blues career that you're thinking, oh, I got that assignment that I need to get done. And oh, here comes the surf. Oh, no, not at all. I <laughs> like uh, my head's in like my head's elsewhere. Sometimes I don't know. Like I like I'm very I'm a very type of player. I just go and I play like <laughs> maybe before a match, maybe before a match. Right. OK, well, you can check it don't out. Don't tell John that. <laughs> no, <laughs> your we'll secret is safe with me. Yeah. Uh, you had <laughs> a field trip. I wanted to ask you about yes. this cool ecology <laughs> field trip that you had this year. Tell me about that. Yeah. Um. We went to Vancouver Island and we got to explore some old growth forests and we saw some really cool beaches too. Some of like I would describe as like one of the, some of the most beautiful beaches in the world, honestly. Like, so I like feel very privileged that I've actually seen some of the places before we went on the field trip too. And it was just a really great learning experience. And it was really, it was really interesting just to like see these places again, but see it in a more academic environment too. And was there big an assignment after that? There was an assignment after that, actually. There was a lab handout that I had to do, and I was like, oh, it was right before finals, but it's okay. We didn't have volleyball at that time, so. That's good. Okay, so you in your fourth year. Some of the yeah. newer players that are going to join the Blues coming up next fall, and even the second-year players, do you think yeah. they will come to you to ask, hey, how do you how do you juggle all this stuff? Or I'm struggling over here. How, how are you able to do it? I hope so. Um, I hope they could look to me for that. I've, I have two um, younger roommates and I hope that sometimes I could help them. But I find at CAP, I tend to be some of the only science. There's not a lot of us science kids in the athletics okay. program. So usually the kids will go to the older kids and like say, okay, what class is good? Like what class is good for this? Like what teacher should I take? So What's I'm kind of, I'm kind of on my own in this brain, but yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Well, let's talk a little bit about volleyball. What a season sure. that you guys put together going yeah. to nationals. Boy, that must have been a, a heck of a thrill. Oh, it was so exciting. Oh, like it was like probably it was one of my best experiences ever. It was so awesome. Yeah. At the beginning yeah. of the season, did you feel that, okay, we got a shot? Or was it a bit of a surprise as the year went on? Oh, no. John's first practice with us, he looked at us and he said, um, we're going to nationals this year. Like, can't wait. Like. I'm so excited. And, and I think I looked at them and I was like, this guy is crazy. He does not know what he's talking about, but he definitely had an, I told you moment when we were playing in our last nationals game. He was like, I told you. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to say, you know what, John, you were right. <laughs> and for a first year coach to come in there and say yeah. that kind of stuff, that must've been special. Yeah, it was cool. It was definitely cool to see the process and it was definitely a trust the process year yeah. for sure. So, yeah. <laughs> so the, the success that you guys had this year going into next season, is there maybe more pressure expectations on you to either finish higher in the pack West and, and advance to nationals and do even better? Um, I feel, I wouldn't say pressure, but I would say definitely a drive. Like, I think we all are now we're like, okay, we are capable of winning. Like, let's see how far we can really do it. I felt like, felt like last year we were just like, Oh my gosh, we're winning. Like, Let's we, we kind of we, we didn't know where where we really were. And now I feel like we were really like in our own and we were like, OK, we are capable of actually doing this and we deserve to be there. Like at Nationals, we deserve to be there and play with these teams like we are good enough. Yeah. So it's going to be really exciting to see. And despite everything that you're doing, you're even giving back by coaching. You, you 15. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, me and one of my teammates, we started coaching a team in, I think, January. Yeah. So we're just heading into provincials next weekend. So it should be exciting. A U15 girls team. So wait a minute. So this is January. <laughs> You've got your, yeah. oh, yeah. your practices, your lifts, a pretty intensive science program. Yeah. And you're coaching? <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. Why it's did you good. take it on? Um, I think I like staying busy. I think it helps me. I find when I'm not busy, I'm not as focused and I'm not as driven and staying busy like just has always been part of my life even when I was in high school and like playing multiple sports and doing school like it just was yeah. something that I really enjoyed and it just helped help keep me calm yeah what about this summer um, what are you doing this summer when there is no volleyball commitments or school <laughs> just a lot of working I'm gonna finish out coaching hopefully get to work um hopefully getting some touches I would love to do some grass and beach while the weather's nice get outdoors a little bit and a lot of lifting. Well, part of the I game. think you get to put your feet up too, because fall will be right around the corner and you'll hear <laughs> True. You know it. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Hopefully well, it's a great grab. story. Thanks for doing this. Thanks for sharing, Annika. And of course. See you on the floor in the fall. Awesome. See you then. This has been Pack Less, Best in Class with Ryan Waters.